We are looking at a V5 veranda suite on board the luxurious Seaborn Odyssey. And hey guys, I'm Mike. Welcome to Affluent Journeys. That's my website, affluentjourneys.com. We have live flowers. A little vanity table here. Really nice robes that everybody gets from Seaborn. what brand it is. And we'll have a look here into the master bath first with beautiful tiles. I believe these are original from when they built the ship in 2009, but it still looks great and is in excellent condition. Frosted glass storage here with little cotton balls and shower caps and whatnot. And we'll have a full-size soaking tub. thing here to hang your shorts and whatnot on. And then all Seaborn suites have double sinks, fully marbled out with chrome and really nice molten brown amenities. And I was just on the Regent Splendor last week and they had really smelly L'Occitane uh, French amenities, but these don't smell as much and they're much nicer in my opinion. So they give you the basil and the vetiver, I believe that's called, and samphire and eucalyptus. If I can see over there. And then they'll give you a plug here for the hair dryer, which is in the room, a little emergency phone. It'll be a single head and then a very nice shaggy rug that's very comfortable to stand on. And then we'll have a really small shower with a main shower head here. By the way, they have excellent uh, water pressure and then a removable shower head. However, it's so small you can barely fit in here. I'm a slim guy, so I can fit. But anybody bigger than me is going to have a hard time moving around. And then this thing doesn't rotate at all and it shoots down here into the corner, not into the middle. So hope they replace the shower heads with something that you can adjust. So take note of that, Seaborn. And the room here that we're looking at is 365 square feet. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention, they have a night light system here. It's motion activated. So when you have the lights off at night and you get up out of the bed, they will have night lights under each nightstand and then under this table as well. So you can see where you're going. They also will have a standard thermostat here. So you don't know exactly what temperature is. You just got to play with it. And then a walk-in closet, which is nice. The hair dryer will be here. They give you two pairs of slippers, which are really nice and thick. Safe cashmere blanket. The bathrobe was here when I got on the cruise. And a whole bunch of hangers for all my stuff. Also, they'll give you an umbrella for use. So I have a master queen bed with a really thick, comfortable mattress. And three different types of pillows, soft, medium, and hard, and long pillows short length pillows. And they did refurbish the cruise ship in 2018, I heard. So hopefully these are new USB ports. I don't know if they were there before. If you guys want, you can check my original tours from about five years ago. There are 1080p resolution tours on the Odyssey and see those also. And we have a clock up here, which I just noticed. We'll have a main console table here where they give you everything when you come into the room. They have excellent Wi-Fi now. I upgraded to the streaming Wi-Fi, which in 2022 is $20 a day. Really nice tote bag. I like this better than the one that Regent gave. And they'll give shore excursion information, how to get on the internet. Here's the room service breakfast menu, if you'd like to see that. And I got some chocolates last night at Turndown. There's a mask in here. And this is the Seaborn card carrier. And then they'll have a nice headboard with double reading lights, another USB here. I only saw one American power port, but they will give you adapters if you need them. So next up we have a small TV. 
which works. They have the basic news channels and one or two sports channels. Nothing to write home about there. More storage up top. They put a couple books up there for you. And then more storage here. Opposite of that, we'll have the wet bar. Various glasses. We have a wine cork here. They no longer give uh, single-use water bottles, so they have these reusable water bottles and a water filtration system, which is very nice. And then a wine or champagne preserver. And the mini bar fridge here is excellent. It's probably the best one I've seen on a cruise ship. Uh, they give us welcome Montedon champagne, which I haven't drank yet because they give free drinks throughout the ship as well, by the way. And look at this, a real freezer. Some good ice cream. And had I known this was here, I would have brought my ice pack from any. And we'll refresh the ice there nightly as well. All the drinks, sodas, beer, etc., are all included on Seaborn. You have to make sure to close everything in the right order, or else you'll do it like I just did there. All right. Some rooms will accommodate uh, three or four, maybe, with either a sofa bed. I don't think they have the Pullman beds that come down from the wall. Don't have a little table with two chairs here, and there's no coffee table. Well, this is your coffee table. It's a little ottoman, and this comes off if you want to sit on it. So I had some welcome fruit there, and a big mirror so you can see the shorts I didn't really want you to see I was wearing. Another interesting thing on Seaborn is they have swinging doors everywhere, and I don't think I saw any sliding doors anywhere on the ship. Could be wrong. Uh, the balcony is really nice and wide and fully teaked out with two chairs and a little side table. Teak railing you see they need to redo here. And I think that is St. Vincent over there and we're at Port Elizabeth today around the corner. So I hope you enjoyed seeing the tour here of my room. It's a V5 Randa Suite again here on the Seaborn Odyssey. If you haven't already, please make sure to hit like on the video. Subscribe to Affluent Journeys if you haven't already. That helps me a lot. And if you want to see my special deals, make sure to follow Affluent Journeys on Facebook. I put all my exclusive cruise deals, including those I get on Seaborn there. And then follow me on Instagram. You'll see some other things that I do. So yes, I am a travel agent. I do represent Seaborn and most other uh, luxury cruise lines for the U.S. and Canadian market only. And uh, if you're seriously interested in booking a cruise on Seaborn, I'd love to hear from you about it. Uh, even if you've already booked that cruise recently and directly with Seaborn's U.S. or Canadian offices only, not through Europe, U.K., Australia, or some other country, I might still be able to improve on that offer for you, and I'll be glad to do it. Most cruise lines have 30-day rule for this, and you must not be paid in full. Also, if you're booked through another travel agent, uh, please do not contact me on it. So serious inquiries may contact me today at the phone number down below or submit your inquiry on the website affluentjourneys.com. I will also have a full cruise tour video here in 4K during our cruise here uh, this week in the Southern Caribbean. Make sure to check that out here on the YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching, and stay tuned for the next one.